everybody, it's Gold Code here. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. Welcome to another episode of COD Academy, and today we're going to be the, doing the ICR 130 Gun Guide. Before we go on, I have to apologize. I'm kind of sick right now, and my voice is going to be a little off, and I'm going to, you know, my judgment is going to be a little impaired, but I hope you can pull through with me. Let's get started. So the ICR 130 is a moderate recoil assault rifle with relatively low damage. His damage profile is 30 at close range, 29 at a distance, and 22 in longer range. This means that it's either going to kill in 4 or 5 shots. The rate of fire of this weapon is 600 rounds per minute, or 636 rounds per minute with the rapid fire capacity. That is rather low fire rate. In there you go. This means that this gun will kill in 450 milliseconds at close range or 444 milliseconds with the rapid fire tactic, 367 milliseconds with high caliber, 350 milliseconds with high caliber and rapid fire. Of course, those, the caveat, the one with the rapid fire, the high caliber I mean, attachment, you have to get a headshot or else you won't kill that quickly, but hey. So this gun excels in medium range engagement due to its low recoil, low damage, and low fire rate. This gun works best with few attachments, or none, just one actually, fine. This is a very bare bones assault rifle. The more perks you use, the better it will be for you. Just don't rush. If it has a really slow time to kill, so rushing will be awful, don't rush. Headshot challenges, run the high caliber, blood thirsties and double kills, go for it while you're to doing the 50 kills and no attachment challenge, this will be the best way to do it because you'll be running these tons and tons of perks. 50 kills and no attachment, run perks that keep you alive, such as black jacket, cold butter, fast hands, and tactical bats, and etc. Do not use rushing classes because, well, you can't rush with this gun. You can, it's definitely possible, but not probable. The 50 kills with Optics and attachments, use whichever optics you find yourself more comfortable with. Run, rapid fire, foregrip, extended mag, quick draw, and long arrow. Rapid fire to increase the fire rate to increase the time to kill. Foregrip, just for more accurate purposes. Make it even more accurate than it already is. Extended mag, this gun is pretty much a hit marker machine. You're gonna need more bullets. Quick draw for well, snap aiming and long barrel so you can increase that 4 shot skill range even further. The long shot. Use the very sight and foregrip. That's all you need. This gun is very easy to get long shots with due to its low recoil, so you won't have trouble with it. I give this weapon a 1.5 out of 5 star range. If the KN44 was the average assault rifle, and this is the mediocre AR. It is definitely overperformed by many other assault rifles and submachine guns at close and medium ranges. The only thing that this gun has good attributes is its low recoil and easy handling. It was very difficult to use this gun. It is potentially the worst gun in the game. Very mediocre at best. Just completely ignore this weapon. Pretend like it doesn't exist. It never existed in the game. The only reason I would ever use this weapon is if I'm trying to go for Dark Matter. And I already got a gold, so I'm done with it. I'm never going to use it ever again. It was horrible. The clips were so hard. I had to use theater mode highlight reel so I could get a decent clip for you guys. Anyway, hope you liked the video. And if you enjoyed, please subscribe to the my channel or check out any of my videos from previous segments and as always knowing it's half the battle and you just won half the battle gold code out